Hey for lifers, this is Big for Life coming at you with week 14 of 2023. Hey Princeton, how's it going? We're coming uh with not a mainline Monday, because I don't have a mainline figure to review this week, but we are coming with a new set of figures that I haven't reviewed before, at least. This is from Astrobots. If you don't know what Astrobots is, it is a new comic series from um the writer Simon Furman. Uh, he is uh, one of uh, a well-known Transformers writer and then also the artist Hector Romero. So I think their first issue just came out or is coming out very shortly, but it's a comic series. So uh, this is a new property, not a third party. It's not a Transformer. It's an original thing. So let's get started. So this is Astrobots. It's Space Colonist. Space Colonization Force. It's 112th scale from Toy Notch or Toy Forge. I'm not really sure what is what, but in any case, uh, the box is pretty small, compact, uh, pretty standard cardboard packaging. We have some images of her on the side here, some uh, kind of rendered line art here. Hey, Tim, how's it going? And then on the back, you get a little bit of um, a bio about our Venus class astrobot units are tasked with care and rehabilitation. So it seems almost like, um, what's her name? The same kind of colored uh, Autobot. Uh, uh, what's her name? I'm not going to remember. But anyway, um, yeah, so she seems like a medic bot. But that's it for the packaging. Uh, once you get it open, there are no instructions. Um, they also have, oh, Chromia, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, 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 Mario, they are, they are, they are vegetarian, I think. Uh, so this is what she looks like out of the packaging. No instructions. It, it is a figure, so it's not like it's, you need instructions for transformation, but it does have a good amount of, uh, posability. Compared with things that have Astro in the title. I don't know what else has Astro in the title. Uh, all right, I'll have to think about that, but I'll get you some comparisons. She also comes with a baggie of goodies. So it's kind of like in the um, Marvel Legends style, I guess, or probably better than Marvel Legends in a sense. Oh, Astro Train. Okay. Uh, do I have an Astro Train? Somewhere. I do. I must. But she has this little backpack, Halo, these um, accents slash swords kind of stuff. Uh, this little Halo effect thing. So this kind of plugs in here. One thing that you'll notice is mine is actually a little scratched. It, it just comes all in one baggie. Um, since this is painted, I would have preferred if they had packaged it separately because mine came out of the uh, packaging uh, already um, scratched up. There is a tab and a slot on the backpack, so it tabs in like this. And that's really it. Um, she does have an alternate head, so this is kind of a visored head. And you just pop it on and off. We'll show that off later. And then she comes with a, a foot stand. I had to figure this out. I was like, what is this? And then I realized it actually goes on her heel. Remember um, Mastermind Creations? I think it was Mastermind Creations. Um, one of their uh, RCs. They, uh, that RC mold came with a kind of a foot stand. So it's very similar that you peg it in to give her a little bit more stability. You know how Fembots are with the high heels. They can't be walking around, standing around, holding a pose. Uh, then she then she has a ton of different um, hands. So she has how many sets of hands? I don't even know, like five or six sets of hands. So she has two balled up fists that are come installed. She has two kind of open curled up fingered hands. These are kind of relaxed open hands. Uh, what else does she have? She has come karate chopping type hands uh she's got two uh three stooges eye poking hands or peace hands if you want to call it that she has some grippy hands for her swords let's see and then she has some err uh, scary grabby hands so how many sets of hands is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of hands, um, including the ones that are on the figure out of the box. So that's a lot of sets of hands. Uh, and again, one one face mask. So yeah, let me scooch up a bit. 
Uh, doing a quick 360, the, the most of the figure is just bare plastic. It does have some painted accents, but very minimal. You can see the head, the... Uh, uh, I don't even know if the eyes are. That might just be a separate piece, but I think the eyes are. Um, the crest might be these little yellow accents around her chest. These tampoed VX. I guess that's the Venus class 617. And that's really... and that's. I mean, I think these grays are, are, uh, are uh, painted on too. But again... Uh, pretty minimal in terms of paint. This this figure does retail in U.S. for sixty five bucks, which I do think is a little high, uh, given the lack of paint and so forth. There's no die cast or anything in it, but it is a highly uh, poseable figure, and again, it does come with a lot of accessories. All right, so the first thing we'll do is I'm going to take this off really quickly because I want to show you. Uh, oh, she also has some paint here. I I really just want to focus on the uh, articulation on this figure. So. Uh, she does have a ball pegged head that's on the neck, so it's going to look quite far up, quite far down, rotated all the way around. Her neck is on a joint. Her neck is kind of a giraffe-like in that it's pretty long, but it gives you a good amount of range there. Her shoulders have a butterfly joint. You can see how they rotate forward a good amount. Um, uh, I want to say like 30 degrees and backwards. And they rotate around that same joint, so I don't. I think it might be a ball peg technically in here. Um, her pinned shoulders go out that way. She has a. Uh, oh, sorry, I removed all that. I wasn't sure if that was part of the articulation. So she has a bicep swivel, a single jointed elbow. Her forearm also rotates. You can see that there's a tab here. You can make use of this thing to tab into her arm and use this kind of as a weapon as well kind of like pinchers or something like that but that forearm rotates and then she has rotation at the wrist because this is a peg that goes in it's nicely toleranced uh, and then she has for all of her hands she has one uh, joint here none of her fingers are articulated in any of her hands and the one thing I will say is I wish they actually used a pin here to connect this because you are pulling the hands off and on um, to swap them. It would have been nice to have a pin in there as opposed to just frictioned um, tabs there. All right, coming to her midsection, she does have an upper body ball joint. So you can see she just in the upper body, she can go really far back, a decent amount forward, and nothing is like gapping out, which is good. And then at her waist, she has another ab crunch. So combining both of them, you can get... Let me get her arms out of the way. You can go like this, and you can go as far back as that, which does not look natural. But then again, some of those gymnasts and contortionists probably can do this. She does have a waist swivel that goes... Well, the, the upper joint can also swivel all the way around, but you're probably not going to do that. But the waist does go around. I mean, actually, I guess you're probably not going to do that either. Her hip skirts are on a pin that can go out and up, rotate around. I think this is on a peg. Yeah, you can take this off if you don't. If you don't like this, you can take this off. <laughs> Mariana says, "Sounds weird to say about a toy, but she has a nice butt. Uh, yeah, she kind of she has a bubble butt. She she's doing Pilates or something. I don't know. Um, she does have." Um, very lo low amount of um, forward tilt on her on her uh, leg. I wish it would have more. I, I brought this to a, a Northern Virginia meetup the other day, and uh, that's what one of my friends said. It would have been nice if she had some kind of drop-down mechanism to get her more than this. Um, I think this is pretty disappointing. Coming out to the side is also somewhat limited. Oh, actually, no, no, it's not. Yeah, there you go. You can go out to the side. Going to the back is somewhat limited. And be careful. Like you, I don't know how that happened, but it, her butt went underneath her thigh and was pulling off the armor. Oh, and the shin armor came off. All right, there we go. She does have a thigh swivel. Goes all the way around. Double-jointed knees. I don't know what this armor keeps falling off now. I don't know if it was glued in. 
Well, it goes back on, but fine. But it's kind of weird that it keeps falling off. Uh, it does have a double-jointed knee, which goes all the way back. And then coming to her feet, she has um, ankle rotation here. You can see right there. Does that, I think this can actually come off. Yeah, it's pegged in. And then uh, you can use that in conjunction with the peg that goes into her toe to get various types of tilts on her. Actually, I don't know if I was supposed to unpeg this. <laughs> but she can get forward and back on this um, pin joint here. But again, if you want tilts, you can't do side-to-side -side tilt unless you rotate this piece around. I think, it's I think you can rotate the way it pegs into the foot. I forget what other figure recently I showed this as. Yeah, you can, you can rotate that peg here so the pin's pointing forward and then you can get ankle tilt. It's kind of weirdly done. I don't really like that um, type of articulation, but it is there. It's just a little kind of annoying to use. Uh, Mari says, since the armor comes off, maybe new armors for her. That's what I actually said because um, I thought that might be the case. Or it might be one of those things where um, with the original Astrobot guy, where, where is he? Here he is. Uh, with the original guy, this is their first figure, Apollo. Um, he was retooled or like reshelled. Um, to another figure, so I'm guessing that they're going to do the same. But if they're if they're going to do armor sets, that would be cool. But if they're not doing armor sets, I would prefer if they glued this in so they wouldn't pop off so easily. It only seems to be this one in particular that keeps popping off. Oh, sorry. And then toe tilt goes up. I don't think it goes down, does it? No, it doesn't go down. So yeah, she has a lot of articulation. That is one of the good parts about her. Uh, the only thing, like I said, that is pretty limiting is the forward leg articulation. Uh, she does have a peg in her back or her butt that can use with, fig with uh, traditional figure stands. So this is a Bandai stage act, whatever it's called. And it works really well. Even this, because it's pegged in, these swords, they can rotate around. And like I said, you can have them this pegged in this way and it kind of makes it look very angelic if you get it at the right angle you can also rotate these backwards to get different looks or you can put them in upside down and i took a couple photos with these like this and this definitely makes her look much more angelic if you have the right pose you can see they kind of look like wings and a halo these also double as weapons as swords so once we get this off we'll get some of her grabby hands uh, i do recommend pulling off by holding underneath this kind of notch here and not trying to pull off by the hands because again the hands are just friction pegged in or friction jointed in not a, a pin joint so you could definitely loosen up that joint after a while uh where's the other hand where's the other grippy hand oh there it is pull this out And so you can use these as swords. And she can hold them both ways. It, it definitely needs a little bit more friction if you want to go um, from the bottom. But she can hold it both ways, as you can see. Uh, and as I said before, you can also take this out and use it on her forearm. It's kind of, I don't know, kind of like a beam shooter or something like that, or a bladed weapon. Oh, was somebody asking about this? Yeah, this thing on her foot is an add-on to help her stand. Uh, I was mentioning that um, one of the RCs from MMC, that, that series, uh, they had something similar that you could put on. And I think that also doubled as like a flight stand or something like that. I can't remember, but... But yeah, that's really it for this figure. I'll show off some of the, her, her other hands, but really the... Oh, sorry, I didn't show off the head. Sorry about that. And I didn't show any comparisons. I owe a comparison to um, TM Reviews. So you just pull off the front of the, he the head like this. Uh, yeah, it looks like a separate piece here. And then you can put on her visor piece. Just push that on. And you got little cat ears. They look more like cat ears than these here. 
So that's pretty cool. Um, is there anything else to talk about with this figure? I think that's mostly it. So let me do some quick comparisons and then we'll finish off. I'll see if there are any questions. And of course, if you're here live with us, uh, make sure to answer the chat, uh, the live live poll. I've asked if you guys saw my short over the uh, over the last week. I was at five and below, and they they have gummy foods of all types. Uh, one that was crazy was uh, burrito. Another one was takeout Chinese noodles that were gummy. Um, but the ones in the poll today are: Would you rather have Lunchables pizza kit? You know the ones where you had like the little bread and then the sauce and the pepperoni and cheese used to take it to school they have gummy versions of that as well as gummy versions of bacon as well as oscar meyer hot dogs but which one would you prefer to eat i did not actually buy any of those uh let's see some fembot comparisons here she is with rc mprc uh well who else do i have oh here she is with her Astroback Companion. This is Apollo. Let me get him to just have a normal stance so you kind of see how they scale. Again, this figure is also super highly articulated. It kind of has like an ape-like look to it. Um, TM Reviews wanted Astro Train. Where's my Astro? Oh. Kind of a weird request, but since he paid the $2 fine, here he is with Astro Train. Oh, hey, Shoki, how's it going? Oh, sorry about that. Let me get this out of the way. Hey, Titan. Is a different right heel serve as... Uh, oh, no, it doesn't serve... Yeah, the, the right heel just... It's not a heel, it's just a stand piece. Toy Forge, Toy Notch. Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Actually, the left hand... And I just realized the right hand doesn't hold it as well as the left hand, this sword. So I don't know what's going on with the tolerances there. So yeah, I would say for 65 bucks, it's probably a little too expensive. Um, I would like to have seen a little bit more paint... Um, some better tolerancing of some things. Um, if the armor is not supposed to be removable, uh, like this one keeps falling off. So I would want it to be a little bit better uh, priced or a little bit better quality. The actual plastic itself feels nice and works really well. But uh, there are small things that make it uh, probably not worth $65, I would say. I think like at $50, it, it's, a good, it's a, a good figure to have, a fun figure to have. Especially if you like female robots. I think she can fit into uh, your collection probably somewhere. Maybe with some other Transformers. I'll show off a couple more hands before we go off. Just to show off some posability. I did take a bunch of photos. Um, they asked me if I wanted to start doing the manuals for this. I don't know if I'm going to want to do that. Because uh, they basically just want a bunch of photos and some action poses. Or like um, art to show off articulation. And I'm not the best poser as you guys know. So, like, this is kind of, like, the cutest pose I can do. They did have somebody who posted on the Astrobots page some very seductive ones with her arching her butt up like this. <laughs> so, you can do that if that's your thing. But, yeah, she is, she is very posable. I don't know what other figures you could kind of compare this line to. Because it's not like SH Figure Arts, because it's actually hard plastic, and it does have actually probably more articulation overall. Um, more usual, more sets of hands than you usually get with, like, SH Figure Arts. Um, and it's a property that's not as popular, though. So it, it's, it's kind of a weird place to be in. Uh, I'm interested to see if the comics are any good. Uh, if I can, like, borrow it from the library or uh, find an e-book e copy of it. I definitely want to read it to see if it's any, any good. Some people like Simon Furman as a Transformers writer and as a writer in general. Some people don't. So uh, it's really up to you whether you think it might be a good series or not. But definitely this is one of those things where if you if you get into the series, I can see you wanting to get a whole collection of this. But until this gets more established, 
Um, I thought it was interesting that they released figures like years before the actual comic came out. So I don't, I don't know why they would do that. But yeah, that's really it for the review for Astrobots Athenia. Again, available at most U.S. retailers that are doing uh, Transformers stuff as well. And I'll probably do at least... I am going to do the review uh, the official manual for at least this figure. But again, I don't know if I'm going to... I'm best suited to continue doing uh, the reviews moving forward. So keep an eye out for that. I'll let you guys know once uh, the official manual is out. But other than that, that's going to be it for today. Uh, let me actually close out the poll just to see which gummy disgusting food... One, uh, give me a second. Oh, and I'll check and see if there are any Q and A real quick. Uh, surprisingly, it was pretty even in the poll for which gummy food would you like? Uh, pepperoni lunch, pepperoni pizza lunchables squeaked out a win with sixty percent of the votes. Let's see here, and then were there any questions for Pig? Questions. Uh, Titan, what dark part of your soul did that poll question come from? <laughs> that came from a short. Uh, here, let me let me see. You guys should watch it. Hold on, give me a second. Uh, it actually got for some reason that short did amazingly well. Uh, I think in the first hour it got over a thousand views. Uh, how do I how do I share this? Oh, here, here you go. Hold on. Hold on. It's coming in the poll. I mean, coming in the live chat. Yeah, check out the short. I just I just linked it. But uh, you'll see the wide variety. Get, go to, if you have a five and below, it's worth it to go just there to see the spectacle of different gummified foods that they have. But yeah, that's going to be it for today, everyone. We'll be back later this week. I just got a shipment that I've been waiting for um, from Bomb Busby for a few figures that Toy Dojo didn't have um, or didn't have left in stock. Like uh, one that something Alliance, something Alliance uh, Soundwave, basically a bunch of movie figures, the Mega Tank, Megatron, and then uh, that one. Uh, movie shockwave so i got three new figures there and i still haven't opened up my mp jetfire so i gotta get on that uh, but there's a lot of stuff that's going in the backlog and i'm gonna start um knocking those out so don't worry we're gonna keep up the pace uh just the last week or so was really busy on the evenings with some unexpected things i had to handle but yeah we'll be back later this week with at least another one other review and i think that's gonna be it for today everyone hope you guys enjoyed it have a good one <laughs> yeah lord you made it just in time for that have a good one, poor lifers.